Hey guys, Chip here, and today I need your help for some of you, those that are on my Patreon or users on Discord. I'm working on a new product, and I'm going to release for free this little material switcher add-on that does some pretty cool things, and I'll show you here in a second. And what I want to do is just get some feedback on whether or not this thing is working correctly and if anybody's running into any, any significant bugs. Anyway, so this is a CW material switch, and you just drag and drop it. It only works in 4.3. So drag and drop it into 4.3, let it load, and it'll show up in this tool palette. So we have original, we have white, and we have custom. If you just click the white button, it's going to convert everything in your scene to a white material. And let's go ahead and click on custom, but we can actually choose any kind of material. Let's just use that, for instance. And now we've basically set this whole thing up everything as that. So I can use any material that I have in my scene and it'll actually go ahead and use it. And then let's go ahead and let's create a, a duplicate of this one. Let's call this one something like ink clay. Okay. And let's just really quickly build a, uh, a clay shader. So we'll just go in here, base color. We'll go ambient inclusion. We'll add that. Shift A. We'll add a map node. And that goes in here. We're going to set that to power. And this is going to be maybe three. And I want this to be the AO. Oh, Color is, I, I'm sorry, the AO is the base. Here we go. Shift a color to a mix shader. Mix color and drop that in here. And we'll make this multiply. And this is going to be something like silver so brown color like this. And 100%. Mm -hmm. And then let's just go ahead and choose. That's called clay. So let's go over here and find the clay. Let's map everything to clay. And you can move this up a little bit in color. So you get the idea how this works. So that's an easy, that's a very quick and dirty clay shader that you can make for yourself. Maybe we want to mess with the saturation a little bit. Well, maybe down a little bit. Anyway, so this is the, uh, this is basically what it does. It works in both EV and in cyclones. As we already have it our override material in cycles. We don't have one in EV. So that's what this will do. It'll actually, it'll override in EV or cycles. And I've got this white because I'm going to be doing something special with that anyway. And then anytime you want, you can switch back to original. And it's going to actually bring back all of the materials in your scene and map them correctly. Now, I want to make sure I save this in the original mode because if I save it in the white mode, or the custom mode, it's going to lose track of all the original material. So make sure that we save the scene in the original mode. I was going to do something like save these as properties of every object, but then it turns into this kind of nightmare of how you clean all the properties out and all that. And I think that's just easier just to do it this way. So anyway, I hope you like this and uh, check out my Patreon, my $1 Patreon. You'll get a copy of the add on there. And also, I'll post to my Discord as well. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.